Hi, so back at We Work Well here with Lynn Curry. Lynn is the principal of Curry Spa Consulting and she's a longtime friend and colleague. And she's been in the business as many decades as me, which is too many to say. Uh, so Lynn, this is your first time at We Work Well in a few years, right? It is. I came to the first We Work Well and it is- Pasadena, right? In Pasadena. Wow. And I am so glad to be back. This has been a wonderful event. Um, and I'm thrilled to be here. Well, so. we're, we're thrilled to have you. <laughs> so at Curry Spa Consulting, Lynn, you work on projects all over the world, uh, large scale spas and hotels and casinos, and you're one of the busiest spa consultants I know. <laughs> Can you tell us without naming names, like what are you seeing on the, in your pipeline what kind of new developments are properties looking for in the spa and wellness space? So it's really been an interesting time because we have a few projects that are finishing up. We have, um, those are very close to the, getting to the end of construction. We're review, reviewing the site, we're checking for electrical outlets and all those kinds of things. Fun we're coming stuff. to the end, the fun stuff, yeah. And then now we're getting to the point where many of those properties are you know, starting to bring their teams in, especially if it's a largely branded mm -hmm property um, to bring their teams in for the pre-opening. But then some of the projects that are starting, we're seeing a, a very different shift in the newer properties that we're working on in that um, even though we're working with the same owners and the same developers over and over again and the same architectural firms, um, which we're really happy about because it makes the project smoother, right? Yeah, and when we know sure. how it all works, um, we are seeing a, a very diverse group of properties within each owner's ownership group. They're doing more of a big resort and a, a smaller boutique oh, spa. Or they're doing big resort or mostly any kind of resort, almost all of them now have a residential component. Mm. And I know that you're seeing that too mm -hmm. in your work. And and we, we are also seeing this trend of consumers who are very loyal to a brand, um, you know, like a Ritz Carlton or a St. Regis or Four Seasons, they are very eager to have ownership and really? have a stake in some of these mm -hmm. properties. So, and, and very often some of these residential developments have their own spas. So separate from the main property spot. Well, separate from the main property spot, or it might be even one of those special developments that has, that has no hotel at all. Um, so that's a very interesting thing because we are designing those spas a little, you know, slightly different because it's a different kind of user. Huh, um, sure. Especially since the staff will intimately know each guest, but not guest, there, yeah. there'll be more, they're a resident, right? each resident coming for their treatments. That's really interesting. Uh, it's, a, it's another symptom of people liking spa so much they want it in their home, right? So this is a way to have it in your home without having it in your home. Exactly. And, and you know, this, this, this fits with all the trends that, you know, Global Wellness Institute is, is, is saying and that has been saying mm -hmm. for, for many years already, um, which their research is amazing. And we've, you know, studied that and looked at that. And, and people want wellness. They want wellness in their residential communities. They want wellness in their second homes. And they want wellness when they go on vacation mm -hmm. um, to the properties where they're, they're visiting. So that's a really important um, it's a very important aspect of that. Well, thanks for sharing that, Lynn, and uh, keep up the good work. Thanks, Lisa. Okay. Bye.